King of saints, King of all creation, praise. King of lost and King of found, King who wore my tawny crown, crucified to set me free. King of glory, now my eyes can see. Entrance and defend that my prayer come into your presence, incline your ear to my cry for help, O Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us offer to the lord all our intentions all our needs everything that burdens our hearts at this moment let us bring to him our whole life with the confidence of love in his love because we know everything offered on this altar is accepted in the heart of the Lord. The Lord is waiting to accept us and anoint us with the Holy Spirit here at this altar. This altar touches upon the cross of Calvary. That's where Love flows down to our hearts. And very specially, we want to offer to him our unworthiness. It's here that we are made worthy. We are washed in the precious blood of the Lord. Let us, with that confidence in the mercy of our God, confess together. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God. And, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, and merciful God, 
graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen the king of the universe will raise us up to an everlasting renewal of life a reading from the second book of maccabees chapter 7 verses 1 to 2 and 9 to 14 in those days it happened that seven brothers and their mother were arrested and were being compelled by the king under torture with whips and cords to partake of unlawful swine's flesh one of them acting as their spokesman said what do you intend to ask and learn from us for we are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our fathers and when he was at his last breath he said you accursed wretch you dismiss us from this present life but the king of the universe will raise us up to an everlasting renewal of life because we have died for his laws after him the third was the victim of their sport when it was demanded he quickly put out his tongue and courageously stretched forth his hands and said nobly i got these from heaven and because of his laws i disdain them and from him i hope to get them back again as a result the king himself and those with him were astonished at the young man's spirit for he regarded his sufferings as nothing when he too had died they maltreated and tortured the fourth in the same way and when he was near death he said one cannot but choose to die at the hands of men and to cherish the hope that god gives of being raised again by him but for you there will be no resurrection to life the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response is when i awake o lord i shall be filled with the vision of your presence when i awake o lord i shall be filled with the vision of your presence o lord hear a cause that is just pay heed to my cry turn your ear to my prayer no deceit is on my lips response when i awake o lord i shall be filled with the vision of your presence i kept my steps firmly in your paths my feet have never faltered to you i call for you will surely heed me o god turn your ear to me hear my words response when i awake o lord i shall be filled with the vision of your presence guard me as the apple of your eye hide me in the shadow of your wings as for me in justice i shall behold your face when i awake i shall be filled with the vision of your presence response when i awake o lord i shall be filled with the vision of your presence may the lord establish you in every good work and word a reading from the second letter of saint paul to the thessalonians chapter 2 verses 16 and chapter 3 verse 5 brethren may our lord jesus christ himself and god our father who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word finally brothers pray for us that the word of the lord may speed ahead and be honored as happened among you and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men for not all have faith but the lord is faithful he will establish you and guard you against the evil one 
and we have confidence in the Lord about you, that you are doing and will do the things that we command. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Acclamation. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the dead. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, there came to Jesus some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, and they asked him a question. And Jesus said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moses showed, in the passage about the bush, where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Now he's not a God of the dead, but of the living, for all to live to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, what is the meaning of the earthly life if not a walk towards the heavenly place? In the time of Jesus, there were two groups of teachers the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Sadducees firmly taught that there was no resurrection. And the Pharisees, even while they believed in the resurrection, the way they interpreted the heavenly life was having connotations of a material life. Jesus very clearly taught that there is the resurrection of the dead and in the resurrection we will be like angels. Our total spiritual existence as the sons of God. My dear friends, what is the meaning of earthly life? If not a walk towards the heavenly place. There is a longing in the heart of every one of us for perfect joy and peace and love. 
unfortunately often people interpret this longing as a craving for earthly pleasure worldly ambitions and material luxuries this is a misinterpretation because of this misinterpretation people work towards building an eternal dwelling place here imagining all that there is to life is to build a dwelling place here to make this world a paradise to enjoy the pleasures of this earth as much as the heart desires and they are frustrated again and again the more they amass the wealth of this world and enjoy it the less they are satisfied the less they are satisfied the more they crave for it and the craving is never fulfilled and they are frustrated again and again life becomes as a philosopher said an endless attempt at frustrations and this is a waste of life and that's when st augustine's phrase becomes pertinent to us so god you have created us for yourself until our hearts attain you our hearts will remain unsatisfied we are to find our satisfaction only in you o oh god and our earthly life must remain a complete search always searching for our god and finding god already on this earth and that's what st john said in the first letter chapter 3 verse 2 st john said we need to look at the face of god look at god face to face and be like him to be like god already on this earth and to see him face to face that vision of god that vision of the presence of god is the only experience that can fill our hearts that can bring total satisfaction of life and that's what jesus said let not your hearts be troubled john chapter 14 verse 1 let not your hearts be troubled for every trouble of the heart and our hearts are troubled our hearts are dissatisfied our hearts are frustrated every time we find a dissatisfaction in our heart every time we find a trouble in our heart we shall understand our hearts are searching our hearts are searching for god we shall never try to satisfy that trouble by filling it with earthly pleasures earthly ambitions worldly luxuries jesus said let not your hearts be troubled believe in god believe in me only by believing in god only by reaching out to him our troubles will be satisfied our hearts will find its rest and then jesus said i will come 
I'll take you to myself. At the moment of every trouble, at the moment of every anxiety, at the moment of every situation in our life, the Lord is waiting to come to us. The Lord is waiting to come to us in order to take us to himself. Say, there's a misunderstanding. The moments we are misunderstood, and often we are misunderstood. The moments we are frustrated, and often we are frustrated. The moments we find something going wrong with us, and often things go wrong with us. In all these moments, when there's a problem in our life, Jesus is saying, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe in me. An invitation to turn to the Lord. The Lord is waiting to come to us. The Lord is waiting to come to us to comfort us, to satisfy our hearts. Every such trouble, every such misunderstanding, every such anxiety is a searching of the heart for God. Our hearts are longing for God and God is waiting to satisfy us. A moment we must reach out to God in prayer and God is waiting to come to us to touch us and heal us and fill us with his love. And finally, God will come at a moment. It's the moment of our death. A moment of our death is not a moment of loneliness. It's the moment God comes to us with his angels, with his angels to take us to himself, and we will be with him forever. That's our eternal dwelling in him. As St. Paul said, we will be with him forever. And St. Paul said something beautiful. What is better for me? He says, what's better for me is to be with him. That's what my heart is searching for, to be with him. But then, if I live, there's only one reason for me to live, for him to do his work. And doing his work always, my heart is yearning to go and be united with my Lord always. An ideal of Christian life a heart always yearning to die and to be with the Lord. And if there is a reason to live on this earth, the reason is to do God's will, to live at every moment fulfilling God's will. Every one of us, we have a mission. We have a mission to fulfill on this earth as a father, as a mother, me as a priest, or as a teacher, or as a politician, or whatever, whatever, we have a mission to fulfill on this earth. That mission we will fulfill according to God's will. God is at the center of our life. To fulfill His will is the joy of our living, living for God, only for God. If I live for anyone else, for anything else, I stagnate, I frustrate, I make my life a waste. Let that be clear to us because only if I live for God, having God at the center of my life, I will have the joy of living, living for God, living with God, enjoying the presence of God always in my heart. The Lord is giving us a very clear vision of life, having God's will always the prime purpose of our life. Amen. A dear 
brothers and sisters let us respond to the word of god by praying together the apostles creed when we pray the creed we are really telling god that it is in him that we believe that he is the purpose of our living let's pray together i believe in god the, the father, father almighty, almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his, his only son our lord who was conceived, conceived by the holy spirit, spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen let us offer to god all the intentions of our heart believing our god cares for us god a loving father you gave us the gift of eternal life through your son jesus a master and lord we ask you to bless us abundantly so that we may live our lives with purpose and clarity we come before you with our needs saying lord listen to your children praying lord listen to your children praying for our pope bishops priests and religious that through their personal example of total detachment from the things of this world they may encourage people to focus on heavenly realities we pray lord, lord listen, listen to, to your, your children, children praying for all those individuals who are blinded by the glitter of this world and have lost the vision of heaven that they may return to the loving embrace of god we pray lord listen to your children praying for the terminally ill patients who are languishing in loneliness and pain in the palliative care centers that they may take courage from the life and mission of christ and live out the last days of their lives cheerfully we pray lord, lord listen to your children praying for all those people whose hearts are hardened by sin that they may turn to christ the only one who can assure them a glorious resurrection and eternal life we pray lord, lord listen, listen to your, your children praying for all of us gathered in this eucharistic assembly that we may have the courage to set our hearts on the life that lasts forever we pray lord listen to your children praying loving father we thank you for having sent your son jesus to communicate to us your own divine life liberate our hearts from the lure of things persons and positions that give us only temporary happiness lord create in us a longing for the things of heaven that never end we make this prayer through christ our lord amen to be like jesus to be like jesus All I want to be like him not in a measure but in its fullness Oh
Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by suffering cancelled out our sins, and by rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, you are holy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world For by
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Ranchid, our Archbishop, the Auxiliary Bishops, and all the bishops and priests and religious and lay leaders in the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With the confidence of the children in the love of our Heavenly Father, let's all pray to Him in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold them who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not I'm worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Most Holy Sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. There is a longing only you can fill A raging tempest only you can still My soul is thirsting, Lord, to know you as I know Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pray for priests. O oh, Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart where none may harm them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which really touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit. May the souls to whom they are ministered to be their joy and consolation. And in heaven, their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us, obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Jesus is the joy of living, He's the King of life to me. Unto Him I'm all. conference with a youth retreat and family renewal retreat from December 18 to 23rd. You're welcome to stay for Christmas. Special retreats to be led by Father Augustin Waluran and Father John Kanicheri and Father Dibin Aluwasheri and the Divine Retreat Center team. For more details, contact us at divineretreatcenter at gmail.com.